Now, 2 liters, 40 milliliters of water can fill exactly 3 similar jugs or 2 similar kettles. Okay, when each jug is completely filled, how much water can it hold? So let's just focus on jugs first. Okay, you have 3 jugs, right? So therefore, very simple, amount of water each jug can hold. Okay, that will be 2 liters, 40 milliliters divided by 3. Okay, and that can give us 680 milliliters. Okay, so why not let's just break it down further to mass that. Okay, 2 liters, you must remember that 1 liter is 1000 ml. So this is essentially 2040. Okay, that's the reason why we can get 680 milliliters. Subsequently, for part B, when three such kettles are completely filled, okay, water from the three kettles is poured into 18 glasses. Okay, each glass contains 150 milliliters of water. How much water is left in the three kettles? Very simple. So let's go and find out. Okay, how much volume of water can three kettles hold? Okay, so therefore, volume of three kettles okay that will be two zero four zero milliliters divided by two times three okay which will give us three zero six zero milliliters okay volume of 18 glasses that will be 18 times one five zero which will give us 2700 zero, zero milliliters. So immediately, volume of water left, we can just find the difference, which is 3060 zero, zero, minus 2700, zero, zero, which will give us 360 milliliters. Okay, that's the answer for this question.